Hey guys, Pat Gagliano here, coming to you from this secret door from under the stairs. We started the basement here just to give you a look at that. We got a little tray ceiling right here. Um, I'll start you guys in this part of the basement. We have a play, uh, playroom for the kids right here uh, with glass French doors and a TV. They're going to set some furniture up there. We have a, a full bath with shower, as you can see right here. Turn the light on so you can see the tile. Um, and then we went with a tile pan as well. And uh, we kept this bathroom close to the back door. Uh, we were very fortunate. This entrance and these windows were already here, so we didn't have to add them. But what we did was, there's a storage room back here with the heater. We didn't want to bring the wall straight through and lose that window. So we tucked it in a little bit and created this uh, little reading nook, sitting bench. They're going to put some throw pillows on there. But you can see all this natural light really, really helps uh, with the basement. Obviously, we put the bar right here, huge bar. And, uh, you know, we didn't have a lot of room this way. We didn't want to crowd the door. So we went with one foot cabinets on the back, which is a little different than we normally do. But they don't lose anything. There's no space lost. There's still plenty, plenty of room here. Uh, we got the upper counter, obviously, with the bar seats. And they did a beautiful job of uh, picking out some great cabinets. Open concept, typical. We have uh, our gym set up right here with the glass French doors like we always do. So in this case, we opened up one side of the stairs, not both sides. And the reason for that is they wanted a, a home theater and an open concept, but we didn't want to close the basement in. So, so this section is the theater. So you can see here we got the half wall with the counter. This is so popular now. Everybody loves this concept. Gives you a place to do some paperwork, have something to eat, have a drink. Um, they still got some room behind where they're going to you know, set up some game tables. This area is going to turn possibly into like a concession stand, uh, maybe another counter. Could, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do here. But you can see we set up the home theater. Once again, we had some duct work on this side. So what we did was rather than just making one awkward box, we boxed the entire room creating a big tray ceiling. So that's something that we do a lot. We don't want it to feel like a basement. We want it to feel like your home. And uh, as you can see, we'll swing back through here just to conclude. And, uh, you know, great floor, just continuous throughout the whole basement. And then when you come over here, you can see it's a nice wide open feel. And uh, they got plenty of room to enhance this. And the bar is actually a great spot. I mean, we're to have like 10 seats around the bar. So, anyhow, that concludes another custom finished basement. Thanks for joining us.